Hey everyone, this is Shane from developjava.com and today I'm bringing you your fourth Java tutorial. And in this tutorial today we're going to be talking about declaring and initializing variables as well as talk a little bit about methods and I'll show you guys how to display some content on the screen. We'll go ahead and build our first program today. So we have this test class that we created before. Remember, like I said before, every time you create a new project, you automatically have whatever you need in the project, you're going to end up with a class file, which is this right here. And in this class file, we've made our first class, which is test. And like I said in the last tutorial, is every part of Java, every part of the code that you write always has to be within a class. So we have this test class here, and these curly brackets are showing us everything that we have in this class. Right now there's nothing, but we're going to put some stuff in this class. So let's go ahead and hit enter a couple times and move that second bracket down. So now we're saying everything between this first curly brace and the second one is going to be everything that's in this class that we're using. Now the second thing we have to do here to write a program is put in our main method. Now don't don't get discouraged or confused by what I'm going to do here. Um, there's going to be some stuff you're not going to understand, but that's okay. Just bear with me. Just try to rem memorize sorry, memorize this code that I'm going to put in, and then later tutorials you'll understand what it all means. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do public static void main. We'll do opening parentheses, write in string with a capital S. Do open and close brackets, space A-R-G-S, and then we're going to open and close two curly braces, and bring the curly brace down. So what we've done here now, this is called a method. We've created a main method. Now methods in Java are places where you usually do like calculations or output um, information on the screen. It's kind of where all the nuts and bolts take effect. So whenever you, you're in a method and then the program runs the method, that's where things kind of, that's where everything happens. And one important thing to know about this main method is this is where Java starts the program. So anytime you have a Java, app, Java application and you tell it to run that application, the first thing it's going to do is look for this main method, and that's where it's going to start running first. And from there, it just goes line by line and starts running every single piece of code that you have in that main method. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and create a couple variables. And if you remember from our last tutorial, we talked about data types. Every variable has to have a data type. We have to tell Java what type of information we're storing in that variable. Um, the information we're going to store today is going to be um, the name of like two or three of your family members along with all of their ages. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to store the names. So that's going to be of type string, if you remember from last time. So we're going to write the word string with a capital S, then space, and then our variable name. So for this, I'm just going to use my family member's name. So first I'll do mean, which is Shane, and then I'm going to put an equals um, and then I'm going to put my name in the double brackets. Remember, anytime we have a string variable, we always use those double um, quotes. Sorry, not brackets, quotes. I'll put my name there. And um, as far as this, you, you need to use a semicolon after this. And it's kind of just going to be a learning process for you as you go through when to use a semicolon and when to not. Normally, af after every line of code, you're always going to want a semicolon. Um, when you're enclosing a class and a method, those use curly braces, but anything within those is usually has a semicolon afterwards. So the next person we'll do here, we'll do my wife, so string, her name is Jana, and we'll put her name in here. All right, and let's, you know, let's change these variables, make it a little easier on us. I'm just gonna put me, and then I'll put wife. So what we've done here is we've told Java, anytime you see me, me equals Shane. So anytime you see me, me really means Shane. So all we're doing is storing Shane in the variable me, and we're telling Java that the variable, the information in the variable is a type of string. And same thing here, anytime Java sees wife, it knows it's Jana, and we just told Java that that, that information is type string. So let's go and add a semicolon after that. And now we're going to go ahead and do ages. So now age, since age is going to be a number, it's going to be a different data type. Remember, whole numbers are always integer, and they're they're displayed as int in Java. So this is going to be int variable, and I'll put me age, and then my age is 26. Put a semicolon after that, and we'll do another one here for my wife. Int, we'll do wife age equals 26 as well, and our semicolon. 
And now if you see the variables I've created here, if you notice this variable has two words. So um, in Java, it's, it's kind of common practice when you're programming Java to do what's called camel casing. And what that is is the first word of a variable name is always lowercase. Any additional word after that is uppercase. So if we had to add another word on here, um, like say today, that's going to be uppercase as well. So only the first word is lowercase, every additional word after that is uppercase, and it just helps you to be able, when you're going through variables, to be able to read them a little bit easier. Alright, so you may notice here, we have these little yellow lines under each of these, and if you hover over it, a bunch of stuff comes up, like what in the world is going on here? Um, all this means right here, and if you look over here and hover over this, it's a little bit of an easier explanation. It says the local variable me is never read. So that means is, is we've declared this here. We've declared a variable, we've initialized it to the value, but we haven't used it anywhere. So that's all it's telling us right now. If this isn't a critical error, it's just saying, hey, you haven't used this yet, just be aware you need to use it. And that's what we're going to do right now. So again, this is one of those things where you may not understand um, completely what I'm typing here, but just just realize what it's for and try to memorize the, the syntax or the wording of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to display um, some information on our screen here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write system, the capital S, dot out dot print p r i n t and we're going to put open and close parentheses after that just don't worry about the arg zero there in the middle delete that out and we're going to put a semicolon after that so what we've done here is we've told java that on our system basically on our computer we want to output some information to our user and when we're going to do that we're going to print information on our screen so so on our system or on our computer, we're going to print information out to the user. That's essentially what that's saying here. And now any the information that we want to put out to the user is what's going to go in these parentheses here. So let's say, let's just put, um, let's use my name and my age. That's what we want to put out to the user. So we're going to put me, because me equals Shane. And then we're going to put me age, because that's 26. And so that should print out on the screen for us. It's going to put my name and my age on the screen. All right, so if you see this here, this, this red underneath this, what this is telling us is it's, it's a syntax error. It's just saying, hey, something the way you, you type something in or something's not quite right here, so you need to fix this. Now, the problem here is that I have a space in between this. Now, anything in here, it doesn't recognize a space. Any, any characters, anything you type out on the screen either has to be in a, in a variable or it has to be of a type of a string that's in parentheses. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to add a space in here. To do that we're just going to use a, um, a double quote, then actually add a space, another double quote. Now this right here still won't work because we've got to tell it, hey, we want to display me, then we want to display the space, and then we want to display my age. Well, Java doesn't really know what to do with this the way we've written it. So what we have to do is we have to what's called concatenate these. And concatenate means it's just going to put words together. So to do that, you add a plus in between each thing. So we'll add that here and that there, and look at all of our errors are gone. So all I'm saying is saying display me, which is Shane, plus display this space, plus display me age, which is 26. So that's what should we, we should get on the screen when we run this. We should get Shane space 26. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And let's see what we get. So to run our program, since we don't have any errors, like I said, the yellow ones, we don't want to worry about too much just because they're saying we haven't used these yet, and that's fine. We know we haven't. But any red errors that we get, those are the ones you need to worry about. You need to fix those before you run the program. But this button right here will run it for us. Let's go and click that. Let's see what happens. All right, she's coming up and it's asking, what do we want to run? We want to run this test. That's right. So let's hit OK. And you can see right down here, this is where out output displays. And we got exactly what we thought we would. We got Shane space 26. Exactly. So let's go ahead and add in um, my wife's name and my wife's age here. So again, since we're combining things here, we want to go ahead and add the plus, concatenate these together. So plus, we'll add another space. And we'll do plus, do life plus do another space plus life age and so we should get now we should get Shane space 26 Jana space 26 so let's run this again and let's see what we get yes that's the one we want to run and that's exactly what we get Shane space 26 Jana space 26 so I hope this made sense for you guys this is our first tutorial here and like I said we'll kind of be building on this 
um, in the next tutorials when we're doing stuff a little bit more complex and explaining all this stuff to you guys as well. Um, so we went over today, we went over declaring and initializing our variables like we did right here. And we talked about our main method, how when Java runs a program, this is the first thing it looks for. And it runs everything within these curly braces first. And then we also displayed information on our screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get updated whenever I get new tutorials out. And as always, check out my website at developjava.com. Thanks.